As expected, the election saw the Latino vote come out in force. The institute named after the founder of the Southwest Voter Registration Education Project had already predicted the Latino turnout would be record breaking. Jesse Degollado looks at what compelled so many to make their voices heard and what both parties have yet to learn about the Latino vote. <laughs> Puro San Antonio, mariachis serenading voters on the near west side on election day. Voters who are among the nation's more than 15 million Latinos voting in person, another 8.6 million voting early. Projections from the William C. Velasquez Institute. As it is, Latinos are said to be the second largest segment of the electorate. But there are more white voters voting for the Republican establishment, whether it's the president or down the ticket line, than there are Latinos. The president winning Florida, no surprise, says Camarillo, given his popularity among Cuban Americans. The Southwest, she says, is another story. The Mexicano Chicano electorate votes similarly to how they vote in California. Not at the same levels yet, but they think the same way. Where Camarillo says the pandemic, health care coverage, and financial insecurity are their biggest concerns. Yet Latinos for Trump say the president's handling of the economy for many is their top priority. As a result, Republicans say support from Latinos has grown larger. But Camarillo doesn't see it that way. When all the dust is settled, you're going to realize that the number of voters that voted for Trump is about the same that happens every single time that vote that for a presidential Republican candidate. If both parties want more Latino voters in their favor, Camarillo says there's a lesson yet to be learned. I saw what took place in 2016 taking place again in this cycle, ignoring the Latino electorate to the 11th hour. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.